The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelights podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter uh, McFuck. Sticking alongside me, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. All right, that's enough. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, we finally have the, the privilege... Of, of welcoming back the OG, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year. Please welcome back Mr. J- uh, Jeremy Joseph. That's, that's pretty impressive. Hi! <laughs> Hi. What, what do you mean finally? I was just here like three weeks ago or some shit. Ago. It wasn't, I don't know. Boy, it wasn't near uh, long enough, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I, could, yeah, I could probably, I can, I can understand you on that. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. Uh, if you have never listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines episode, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin, like JP. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, he seems thin I said skin. It. I he hasn't said, said it. a word yet. You I know? said it. I mean, yeah, I have really, <laughs> thin, really thin skin, and I'm offended very easily. You got me pegged. I did. I pegged? Really? Nice verb. I'm just asking. Okay, just asking. It's more yeah. of a question yeah. than okay. a statement. Is None of that. Quest? None yeah. of that. None of that. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't want to start that one. Nope. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent episode for you this uh, week. We have, uh, you know, the things, the hot topics, the hot topics. Can, I can't sing right now. It's okay. It was nah, it's right now. Piece it. Or ever. Uh, we have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Bad advice with Jeremy Joseph is going to make its return, which is what JP was laughing at before we started <laughs> this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Questions and preguntas. And as always, a draft and a shitty situation to wrap things up. But before we get to that, we're going to kick this episode off like we always do, which, which with our week, week recap. What's happened to us great. over the last week? JP, who doesn't ever have anything to talk, tell us about, what do you got? Um, so I got a lot of time off work this week, which was awesome. Until my bills come, then it's going to suck. But we... Uh, you got you to gotta explain it with that. Explain what? I don't know. Whatever the fuck that thing is. We can't put it up here because it's too big. But it, it's, a bi- it's a big trophy. Yeah, it's a trophy. It's for my 300 game. Oh. And I've been here for fucking long enough. I'm going to put some shit up here. I'm sick of looking at all this fucking Chicago Bears. Oh, the Chicago Bears thing is going away. Well, it should. It should. That's that's a Father's Day present for my dad at this point. Oh, it is? Yeah, I'm just going to repackage it. It has been been forever. (laughs) I mean, that thing has been here, what, three years, four years? Five. Five, probably. Has it been here since the beginning? Yeah. I never really paid attention. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to go. Mm, right. Yeah, it does. At least a lion's helmet would be better. I agree. Okay, all right. I We're going to go with that. But here's the thing. It's all scripted. Bowling, not scripted. Not scripted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you so. were to get another one of those, put a chain between them, and have Dave Rickles sign them, <laughs> you would have bowling pin nunchucks. There we go. Fuck yeah, that'd be we, fun. Yeah. Get rid of those pieces of shit. I could finally take them home and whip some ass. <laughs> yeah, whip some ass. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Did you uh, do anything fun? I did. Um, my anyway, we're, I was off work because our walk-in went down and we had to repair it. Actually, a homeless guy. Oh, good. Tried to get into the walk-in and he tore the refrigeration unit off the top, thinking there would be a hole there to jump down into. Oh. Turns out that's not the way that works. Oh, oh it's not. And uh, we had to replace the refrigeration unit on our walk-in, so that took Perfect. three days. That's awesome. And uh, then I'm Memorial Day weekend, I had a bunch of family 
come down that yep. I some of them I haven't seen in probably two or three years. We did a little family reunion thing. Uh, did they the, accept you? Yeah, man, oh, they okay. love me. Dude. Sure. They love me. I've got a fucking kick-ass family. <laughs> uh, that's why you've never met any of them. <laughs> but uh, no, so Fair I enough. fucking spent all weekend over there at Good the deal. hotel. They stayed in a uh, the home two suites by Ooh, Hilton. Okay, there it was really nice. I but dude, the poor those poor people that were there that weren't with our group, mm -hmm. we took over everything. <laughs> there were like 50 to 60 of us, and I mean, we took over the fucking pool, the bar, the fucking oh. patio. I mean, Did you try like, and break in the walk-in? No. No? Oh. <laughs> You're like the I learned, I learned after the first one that's not the way that now, works. Now, when you say the walk-in, by the way, I'm assuming you mean walk-in closet? Freezer. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that makes more sense. Yeah, it should because I, I know you like cold clothes. Yeah, yeah. The refrigeration unit in my walk-in closet, you can't get cedar two from lined. The, yeah, it's sure. very nice. Best way to do that is get a lot of condensation yes. built up on the cedar. That's Absolutely. the best way to make that work. Yeah, it makes it smell mm -hmm. good. Anyways, uh, anything anyway, else? But uh, yeah, man, I don't think no. <laughs> no yeah, yeah, man, that's I don't, it. That's, I, it. that's, that's it. it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Okay, well, I guess I'll I'll go ahead and. And go go forward with this. Okay, I guess. man, go ahead. Let's hear all about your uh, your problems. I am fucking hurting. I, you guys watch me walk down the stairs. I always do. Every single and year, and back up, and back up, <laughs> and back down. Yeah. Every single. We're hoping one of these times, <laughs> I'm gonna one fall. doesn't trip. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I almost did. You guys have a good fucking like chance at this point. Uh, my one of my best friends, uh, Steve. We call him Steve Eaters on on yeah. the show. Uh, competitive eater, Steve. Anyways, every single birthday that he has, we run the amount of miles that he is turning. He turned 45. I wrote, no way. I ran 4.5 no miles. Okay. All right. And I'm fucking dying. Over That's here. bad. But I thought you were going to say that you ran 45 miles. No. And I was like, <laughs> that is that. a mistake. No, I'm surprised you're breathing. <laughs> oh my like, God. No. I couldn't run. He wouldn't Point be done yet. No. Right. right. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. All right, man. Uh, but no, he has this like thing where like the equivalent of the of the distance that we run is the amount of miles, whatever. 4.5. Yeah, 4.5. But it's like but I get it. he has like comp like uh, challenges that you do in between. Yeah. So it makes it a little bit more That's cool. Whatever. Um, I'm fucking dying right now. Dude, I bet. My, I don't know. My I don't legs. know that I would get back up. Dude, my legs feel like they're going to fall I the would fuck never, off. I couldn't. A quarter mile would probably be about Jesus as far as Christ. I'd go. I'd probably what, just quit. What kind of challenges? Uh, stupid <laughs> ones. Give me an idea. Like uh, uh, there's uh, the... the Physical challenges. Perfection. Like remember, in, the, uh, remember the board game Perfection where you had a timer and you had yeah. to put all the little things in there? Like I that. fucking invented it, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's that one. <laughs> Uh, you had to, you have to blow up a balloon and then pop it. Uh, just stupid ones. They used but, to call me balloon popper in high uh, school. Nice. <laughs> so I invented. I, I I think I may have invented that too. <laughs> that too. I didn't invent the balloon, but I invented popping balloons. Nice. Very good, Jeremy. I'm so proud of you. Uh, so yeah, I am I am fucking hurting. Okay. Um, and if you haven't already noticed, I'm uh, moving on from that. Uh, the uh, Stand Up Comedy Showdown is now on our YouTube channel. It is. You can go and watch all of the sets. Don't be a dick, though, at the same Don't time. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. And then lastly, I am very excited to say the Rings of Power. <laughs> Ugh, Lord of the Rings on Amazon is out. Yeah. And they did what? And proud. What? Yay! And proud. Hey, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm a nerd. nerd. I'm a fucking nerd. When it comes to Lord of the Rings, I'm very pumped about this particular oh, the main show. main character is an obvious lesbian. Who's that? Galadriel. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, total dyke. Uh, who else do you think the main character is? <laughs> I don't know. You know, the one with all the fucking dialogue and all the actions I don't know. Her. Sauron, maybe. But it doesn't matter. I'm Sauron. excited for it. Oh, they, God, please, they released stop. it. They He's released a literal it. flamer. Three episodes. There's a lot of gayness going on. There's <laughs> a lot. A of lot of, <laughs> lot of pale skinned dudes with. I don't give a shit. I'm wearing love Lord of the Rings. flowy shit. I'm Lord of the Cock Rings. Good for you. So I don't know if that matters. <laughs> I need to take it back to the mountain and throw it in so it doesn't you like trap your soul and you come out straight. I like to I think with think JP, he's happen. just dangling it in. Yeah, <laughs> he keeps it on while he puts it in. 
<laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah, that'd awesome. be hot. Anyways, no, I, I'm I'm very excited for the series. They released three episodes on the uh, first week, so I'm very happy about that because then I can kind of have the idea of binging because that's what I do. Yeah, well, yeah. But they're going to release every episode from here on out week by week. Have you watched the three? Nope. Oh, I won't. Okay. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't because I, I can't. I'm not going to watch them, but I am going to go on YouTube and the internet and get spoilers, and I'm just going to start texting them <laughs> to you. Fuck you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Such a dick. Just randomly throughout the day. Yeah. I can't believe they got Jerry Seinfeld in it. Yeah. Well, I, I couldn't I, believe that either. Either. And I guess, well, and I guess last but not least, uh, tomorrow I'm very excited. Me and my brother are going to go to the range, and we're going to we're gonna put probably somewhere along the lines of like 500 rounds down range. Like, th- we got the clips. So they're actual 5.56 five, clips. Stripper clips? Yes. Yep. That you can load your mags in, like, immediately. You just yeah. push them down. Just poof, and, and it's like, oh, the, keep Those going. aren't as easy as they look like. Oh, we did <laughs> they it. They make some practice. We did it for an hour yesterday. Yeah. And Probably would have been a lot easier just loading them one at a time. I don't know. I don't think so. I do. Okay. <laughs> I I'm, do. I'm just saying. I mean, it really, you got to get the fucking hang of them. And we did. I think we did. After an hour of doing it, we figured the fuck out. And we had a, we had a fucking, like, uh, I don't know. Whatever you call it, like like a line of like this, is what you do? Assembly line. <laughs> Assembly line. Thank you. There Cocaine. You go. Very good. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's why it went so well. <laughs> yeah. You went so fucking well. well. You <laughs> handed Clayton the stripper clips, and then he did the work. Okay. Right. That's yeah. why it went well. There you go. We did not know the it. definition of stripper clip, and but we did know the uh, definition of cocaine line. So, but anyways, mm. that was my week. Uh, I'm I'm excited to hear what Jeremy Joseph has. To I, say. I tip all strippers with clips. That very way. good. You should. Of five five six. Mm-hmm. So nice. I, I assume that take they're all home. into shooting. Absolutely. You should. <laughs> I put it in my teeth. Let them take it out with their tits. <laughs> yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> bullet by bullet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I can get some of them that can actually get the powder out. <laughs> wow. Now that's impressive. Mm-hmm. That's now impressive. that is impressive. That is you impressive. get a woman. <laughs> Every now and then it blows up, though, and that's <laughs> she, a mess. <laughs> she just puts it in her, in her mouth and it comes out tied in a knot. <laughs> Deprimed. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. How was your week, though, Jeremy? Uh, fine. I'm going to be honest with you. It was lackluster. Lackluster? Uh huh. Okay. My life has basically, okay, the temperature here, the mm-hmm. weather um, has become, it's either raining or if you step outside, it feels like you're walking Into in between an, a fat guy's ass cheeks. <laughs> it's just sultry. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. And so going out and doing anything is just abysmal. And so basically my life has been I go to work at 6 in the morning, I get home around 3, take the dog for a walk, I come home, I eat something, I watch the Royals play, I shower, I go to bed. That has been my life. Yeah, um, that's good life. Yeah. Other than that, just uh, watch TV and uh, being basically – you know, disappointed with society in general. Yeah. Oh, that makes us. That makes sense. Yeah, I give you that. Yeah, can can I tell you about something? And I, I'm afraid this is going to make me sound as much like an entitled prick, because uh, I know I sound like a like a grumpy old fucker when I. <laughs> I'm but, excited. Okay, I'm, I'm at Dylan's grocery store for people who don't live around here, yeah. um, and I I bought just a few things. And I'm at the self check, and I have one of those. It, it's a cart, but it's like the small yeah, yeah. cart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, when I get done, it's okay. the one Scotty uses too. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> but he can get a whole week's worth of shit. Yeah, in there. yeah he can. <laughs> when I'm done, I've got four bags worth of stuff. And okay, you know, at the front of the store, how there's that area where they got people working there. I when I'm in the parking lot. Every time I return my cart, mm-hmm. no matter what. Oh, yeah. But up there, you know, there's like people working there. I just kind of wheel it out of the way. Well, the gal who's manning the self-check goes, uh, did you want, it, would, it might be easier if you use your cart to take your groceries out. And I'm holding the bags. It's like, no, I, I got it. There's just four bags. Well, are you sure you don't want to? And I go, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. And she goes, I would appreciate it if you would return your cart to where you got it. Oh, no. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I just checked out my own groceries, bagged my own groceries. Now I'm carrying out my own groceries. I don't fucking work here. 
You're not <laughs> doing a fucking thing. Oh, my God. And I, I realize that the people who work at these places aren't like my personal servants. Yeah, yeah. But there was a time when all of that shit, they do that for you and go, can I take your cart for you, sir? And thank you and, for and shopping thank you. with us. By right. the way, the contents of these four bags, $112. Yeah. that There was a time when that would have gotten you a very full cart. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now I'm being expected to return the shit back to the fucking original line where I got it. And she is not doing anything. Oh. But this last week, I have come off of my diet because I was just so bored with it and needed a change of pace i'm going to go back on starting next week mm -hmm. but that's kind of opened up our you know re places where we can go restaurants we can go and every place i go it's something like that we we stopped to get some ice cream at dairy queen i get in the drive through line there's already somebody there after 10 minutes of nothing happening i roll down my window and i say to the guy have they taken your order yet he goes no nobody said anything yet so i pull out a line to go drive around. There's a couple of cars gotten behind me. At this point, I've just decided I ain't getting fucking ice cream. But there's a, a kid standing out behind the restaurant. Smoking. Yeah, vaping. Yeah. And, uh, like and you, I said like to him, do. is there people working in there? He <clears> goes, yeah, there's people in there. I said, well, there's, I don't know, three or four cars. And I know the guy sitting at the, at the speaker has been there at least 10 minutes. He was already there when I got there. And he just goes, yeah, that ain't my fault. Oh, fuck. Oh. I said I never said it was your fault, but could you maybe let somebody know that people are waiting? And then I pull around. There are three people standing in the drive through window. One gal has her back to the window. So I honk the horn. And they turn around, and I point back. They just stare at my fucking finger. Like fucking chimpanzees. I mean, oh my god! My, my dog knows if I Dude. point at something. Look at where I'm pointing. Not look. I'm not saying, "Hey, check out my cool fucking finger." <laughs> <laughs> and so finally, one of them goes to open the window. The gal who's leaning against the window doesn't move. The oh. gal who's got to open up the window. I go. There have been people waiting for at least ten minutes. <laughs> Jesus. And Christ. she goes, "Oh, we didn't have our headsets on." Very well. Good See? job. Good excuse. That's not an excuse. I mean, it's an Fuck explanation, it. but it's certainly not a valid fucking excuse. Oh, my God. But it just been something like that everywhere I go. <laughs> and I hate to just bag on this generation, but it's that but fucking they generation. But they suck. They suck and, and so bad. You know who I'm really pissed off at? The parents? My generation. We're the ones who fucking raised them to yeah. be that way. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Yeah. Good job, guys. Way to go. I, you not know, me. granted, I have not worked in the service industry much, but in high school, I worked at a McDonald's and had I ever had a customer come up to me with a complaint and my response had been, yeah, that ain't my fault. I would have been fired on the spot. <laughs> 100 on the you. fucking right. spot. Yeah, but the have. problem is you can't do that anymore because there's nobody willing to take right. that job. Right. So they know they got them by the balls. Yeah. And there's nobody willing to take that job. Nope. Why do you think that? Because they don't want to work for that amount of money. And why, do that, why wouldn't that job they? because they, it's a fucking not a livable wage oh they don't pay you enough to live oh, okay so what do they give a fuck uh. meanwhile the guy that owns it is fucking in his <clears> million <throat> dollar fucking mansion oh fucking, right. don't no, dude, even dude, dude, don't go there. There. You can go there but dude you what it's true <sighs> it, i am gonna people have stopped him. wanting to work for minimum wage and people are like i can't believe it well, dude, if you can't fucking live... Dude, I know people that work at McDonald's, and I don't give a fuck if it's McDonald's or anywhere else. There are people that work at McDonald's okay. that work 40-plus hours a week, okay. don't even drive there, walk there, okay. or bike there yeah. because they can't afford a fucking car. Okay. If you're working... 40 plus hours a week, no matter what you're doing, you're mm -hmm. contributing to our society. Then and why work be that job? Because there's why, not a bunch why, of other why shit out there. Why voluntarily accept because that there, job? There's not a bunch out there, man. Well, what there's are you not, talking about? There's not a bunch of fucking one hundred thousand dollars. No, I mean we kind of obviously understand that you have we to start at the those. bottom. You have to right. start at the bottom and work up at what minimum wage, right. right? That means minimum fucking skills. That means minimum fucking experience. That's what that's for. You're not supposed uh, to be able to. What did I start? I you did. I'm sorry. You I'm gonna did. stop. I'm gonna stop. But here's but the thing: no. is that most of them that, no that I've that. been dealing with, I'm pretty 
pretty sure are high schoolers <clears throat> who don't have bills to pay. And that's right. the job Right, and those are the people that should be working there, and they should fucking give a fuck. Correct. But the sad fact of the fucking matter is there are people out there that may not have had the best education. They may not have had the best of fucking circumstances and shit like that that are adults that are working those jobs because those are the jobs that are fucking available. I didn't and have they the need best education. Work. Well, I didn't. That's great, dude. Yeah, but that's the whole point. The I whole get that, okay. and I'm fine too. I wait fucking tables, but I make pretty good money. And you should probably I do all right. You and me to you, and I love you to death. You are worth more than that, and that's great. But it's what I like to fucking do. Okay, that's your choice, right? Right, a hundred percent. That's okay. why I'm not bitching about what I do. That's why I do my job. Okay, then you. And but you're it good is at it very, too. very, very, very fucking hard to find somebody that wants to work. 40 fucking hours a I think, week. I'm with Jeremy. I think it has a lot to do with the parenting and the, and the bringing them up. Sure. I, I really do. I, I, I believe sure it's it the job that you work until you get the one that you want, and you'll never yeah. get the one you want until you show that you want to work. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a vicious cycle. It is. I understand. I've worked for minimum wage before and, and hated every fucking second that I was there. Yeah, you wanted to get out of it, I felt. Like, you just wanted to get out of that particular deal yeah i mean and granted i grew up in <clears throat> much better circumstances than, sure. than many did but go to walmart it, it's and hire five people to, to work for you most of them are are retired who walmart employees no but i'm saying go to walmart right now uh -huh. and find five people that you would hire the people that are walking around in there right now oh i could do shopping it. no problem find five people that you would hire no problem really yeah Yo, <laughs> crazy. We're also Kansas Walmart. We're not like so. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? No, it's worse. I it's worse here. It's I worse. feel. No, I think I, no. I think you can. I uh, believe legitimately I think know, you can. Buddy. If you have, if you make incentives for people to move up in a company, then they will be there. They, they and they will eventually try to work. So, harder. what incentives do you think Dairy Queen's giving out? I free dude, blizzards, motherfucker, motherfucker, <laughs> dude. High five. Yeah, free blizzards. I'm in. Where was this Dairy Queen? I'm going to get a job. I'm just in no, I got free in Derby. In Derby. Oh, I don't know that you oh, do. Well, that but makes that, it even you worse can give because it their parents have money, so fuck they don't yeah, give they a do. fuck. Why do you think that the that the that the average age of somebody who are working at Dairy Queen is generally going to be over the age of 45 and under the age of 20? It's because the middle area of your age are people who moved up and then went out and fi found better jobs. Right. Not you. But everybody else. You know what, man? <laughs> I don't have to be here. <laughs> I love you so much. But anyways, I'm but sorry. Yeah, Jeremy, continue. Boy, howdy. We went off on a tangent there. I'm sorry. I was done. <laughs> oh, you were I, done? I was done a long time ago. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me and JP just went off on a tangent ourselves, and I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, that's everybody's week, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. I, I watched uh, Tulsa Kings. Oh, how, oh that's what, what, good. What'd huh? you think? I, I didn't mind it. I mean, I, I like it. It gets a little hokey. I mean, but it, it and there's another one made by the same guy. Apparently, he, he has to put King in everything because it's, uh, what is that? Uh, Mayor of Kingstown mm. with Jeremy Renner. Yeah. It's also on Paramount Plus. And it's, eh. I, I liked it, First but it was a couple of seasons are pretty intriguing. Third and then season. And it gets really, really yeah. repetitive. Yeah, I mean, really it, it like yeah. like a street wars break out that would bring the federal government and, and the national the, guard yeah. and shit. I mean, it's it yeah. gets a little ridiculous, and it all hinges around this one guy who kind of cuts deals between the cops and the prison guards and the prisoners and the gangs outside. So regular life is what you're talking about. No, <laughs> no, no. It's even more dramatic than that, which is hard to believe. Yeah, I know, right. Anyways, okay, that's it. Did you have any other good shows you watch? Rings of Power. It, it's pretty tell good so far. About, tell okay. us all about okay. it. I'll, I'll tell you what happens. Oh, no, don't, don't right. tell me. <laughs> Please no, tell us all me. about it. Please don't tell me. Turn your headphones up. Uh, <sighs> there were three bears. <laughs> <laughs> Mama bear, mm -hmm. Papa bear, and a baby bear. <laughs> no. Yeah, they really changed directions in this <laughs> yeah, season. Really uh, really too. Don't ruin it for me. God damn it. I'm going to watch it today. That's, that's my goal with my uh, wife. Here's what I'll tell you. That they did resolve my chief complaint of last season where they are involving rings. Oh, good. <laughs> it's the title character. <laughs> and they weren't even involving them at okay. all last year until the very end. Fair, fair enough. Mm -hmm. It's good. Good deal. 
Uh, we do have a uh, couple of questions, actually, that were individual questions for from fans that I wanted to point out. First of all, Dev Dev, which we haven't heard from him in a while, uh, but he has a question. He wants to know, have any of you gotten trouble at work for something that you said on the show? No. Jeremy? I don't use my real name, nor do I say where I work. So Touche. Yeah, I... Yeah. Otherwise, probably would. So I have. Um, there's been one time where I had something that I posted on social media, and it had to do with something about a particular make and model of a particular car who happened to also be douchebags who drive said particular make and model of a particular oh, car. You, it's a story that you told? Uh, no. And of course, Are you, you sure? Maybe. <laughs> uh, and, uh, is it a, a mom and a kid? No. Oh, okay. no and of no. course, you are referring to the Ford Festiva. That <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Everybody yeah, knows. Things. You see a Festiva around, <laughs> that's a douchebag. Yeah. That's some fucking bro meathead yeah. with his hat backwards, yeah. fucking wearing his Oakleys like I do. And Yeah, uh, yeah I, I did. I got in trouble for that. And right. That's okay. It's all right. I took the video down, so it's okay. Good you enough. Still, you can still probably look for it and find it because it's still out there. Uh, but anyways, next one, uh, Travis Tharp comes in. He wants to know, uh, what's worse, Scotty winning another consecutive year of fantasy football or Derek winning another comedy contest? <laughs> God damn. You <laughs> know, this should have been the shitty situation. <laughs> we should have just given this and used this we, as a shitty we situation. But we did Because both would be horrible. I know. I, here's the thing. Uh, and, uh, like, me I being honest. I think you winning is worse. Me being honest, yeah. I'm... I, I it's it's talk, probably for sure worse. I talk shit because I want to light a fire up under all of the other players' asses. Here's the thing, I don't though. really care It as seems much. like you talk yeah, shit because uh, you're a complete douchebag. Sometimes. Right. So, Derek sometimes. never no, bought his own fucking belts. Right. That was even more of a reason to buy the belt was because I was Damn like, come See what we're on. saying, though. I mean, you get what we're saying, <laughs> though, right? I do. Okay. I do. <laughs> and, and here's the thing, too. With Derek winning comedy contests... That's Derek actually doing something and beating out other people, whereas you're just relying on other people to go out and do shit <laughs> for you. For you. Yeah. You're, you're just That's kind of good picking. Point. Here's the guys That's who I valid. think are going to do good this week. That's valid. Okay. I, I, okay. Yeah. Then it's me. At that but, point is good. Okay. I, I submit that. We're is, all on the same page we're now. We're on the it's same Scotty. page. It's me. I yeah, get it. Good. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't 100%. as hard as I thought. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is our week, week recap. By the way, the cheapest way to support the show is to leave a comment, uh, ask a question, uh, also like. And if you aren't already subscribed, you're an idiot. Uh, but now oh, I bet you you lost some subscribers. I mean, the first Probably. part of the show was hilarious. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That was comedy gold. <laughs> hearing people debate about the, the efficacies of minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jeremy. Uh, but now why do we invite him <laughs> back anyway? <laughs> I love him to death. That's why. Yeah. Uh, but now we get to move on to hot topics. Well, and you, uh, you didn't yell at him. Oh, for what? You said you loved me, and you yelled at me. I now do yell love at him. I love you. Yell uh, at him. Jeremy, you're right about everything. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Okay, That's better. That's all I, I mean. But I was hoping he would say something insulting. I have a knife. <laughs> have a knife. I'll stab him with a yodeling uh -huh. pickle. <laughs> Which we signed a yodeling pickle at the comedy contest. Did you really? We yeah. really did. You the were one missing. guy who the the people who don't have a yodeling pickle. <laughs> they do now. They do now. Yeah. No, uh, I mean, you guys don't have one. They oh, had you yeah. sign it. Oh, right. that's correct. Well, we were the ones that were here. Well, we're there. I, I'm there, supporting yeah. other comedians. Yeah. I'm happy you did not give them my home address. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would have been awesome. You should go by Jeremy's and show him your pickle. Here's his address. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> Honestly? I came I, by to show you my pickle. Oh, <laughs> let me let me tell you why that wouldn't have worked for him. That was that is one new thing. We we got a ring doorbell camera uh -huh. now, so yeah, he wouldn't have made it past the front door. Very good, good job. I've gotten to use it a few times to just tell people, yeah, just just leave the information on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fucking campaign season, so oh, people yeah. are coming around with shit. Yeah. Yeah, we may have something along those lines. But anyways, let's move on to some hot topics. We have uh, the first thing kicking off, especially with football starting. We have uh, wide receiver Brandon Ayuk finally received a four-year deal for $120 million. Good grief. And it's an extension with a $76 million in guarantees. Do you think 
or do you not think that was a good idea for the San Francisco 49ers? Gentlemen. I mean, he was their top receiver last year. Yeah. Right? On, mean, on a Super Bowl runner-up team. I mean, it's... I do. I see it. I see it. But I'm going, okay, you got Debo. You got you got Jeremy Kittle. You got Christian McCaffrey. Did I say Jeremy? George Kittle is what I meant to say. Right, but you did it. I, I did. And his brother, Jeremy. Uh, and his brother, and Jeremy. It, Jeremy's the key. Jeremy, you can Jeremy's have George all day long. George Kittle. He goes out on the field and he does what he does. Fuck. But without Jeremy Kittle. But you also have Christian McCaffrey. He works at Dairy Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy yeah, he does. Kittle does. He, yeah. works, he works at Dairy Queen and for doesn't do a wage. fucking thing yeah, because for minimum wage. he's getting paid right. fucking... <laughs> Uh, but you 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 have a you have a fucking stout offense. Putting Brandon Ayuk in this particular situation when he could go to another team and basically be their number one, rather than what he's doing and going and competing with Debo and George Kittle. What do you think about this? I don't think they're competing. I think they're fucking. They're working together. Working together. It's called a team. But the thing is, is when you create this kind of mindset, this is all I'm saying. When you create this kind of mindset of somebody who is a like money grabbing piece of shit, then he also needs That's to what you get think the ball. Is? Huh? That's what you think he is? Kind of. Why? I, I think he's talented, but I think if you don't throw him the ball and this is an actual <clears> team <throat> kind of ideology or mindset and he doesn't get the ball when everybody else is, I think he's going to be a squeaky wheel and a problem in the locker room. Well, but that was exactly how things worked because you had to, you couldn't double cover him because you had to cover everybody else. Sure. And you, there's so many weapons on that team. You can't double cover anybody. Sure. And it always left him open. He caught a fuck ton of touchdown. He he did. He he did. But but like, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is you have somebody like, uh, let's say I'm on St. Brown. I'm on Ross St. Brown, right? Mm -hmm. That is the same kind of offense in the NFC and they're going to probably see each other for the NFC Championship, in my opinion. But that is a completely different kind of personality with Amon Ross St. Brown. He's more team-oriented as opposed to Brandon Ayuk, who's, like, individual-oriented is all I'm saying. No, I think he's just more – I don't know that he's individually oriented. I just think he's saying, hey, you're paying all these people this amount of money. Sure. And I'm that fucking good. I deserve this amount of money. Okay, that's fair. The end. That's fair. I get that. I mean, and it also you, depends on when people's contracts are up, and yeah, yeah, and how that all on. works out. No, I mean, when, when Debo's contract, point. when Debo's contract comes up again, he's yeah. probably going to be like, uh, uh, "Hey, hello. Hello. hey, me, yeah. yeah." But he's going to be older than than Brandon, so, right? And and there's also and they may you know not pay him value. You, he may go somewhere well, else. and there's also cap constraints and all that. Sure, that you got to work with. That's they true. Have the well. money, and yeah, we'll see how it works out. Okay, all right, I'll take that. Uh, Next one is uh, college football has officially kicked off. We had week one of college football. Yes, we did. Uh, The Oklahoma Sooners played on Friday night. Their quarterback is fucking good. Who, Oklahoma? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's good. Unreal. He's a good dude. Dude, they have no O-line. Like, no. And he still managed to fucking just yeah. pick the fuck up. And I know. It was impressive. It, I, like, I, I, like I, it. I really, really was impressed. Uh, I Do you think Georgia's the number one overall team after you watch them play Clemson? <sighs> I mean, it was at Georgia. It was at the Georgia Dome. Yeah, so, for sure. You know. I don't know, man. That's tough. It was it's, nice to, to watch football. Football, actual competitive right. football Instead on a of weekend. The stupid shit that we're watching right Instead now. Instead of this bullshit, fucking exactly. preseason. Why? Uh, yeah, I know why? the dwindle down players. But you make millions and millions of dollars a year. Dwindle yourself down during the off season. How, you dumb fuck. However, when this episode is released, the next day we start real football. Real football, motherfucker. So what would have been cool right there is if you would have programmed a bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay, but I could have done you that. Did it. But I didn't. Oh, no, no. God, you let me I'm down every episode, man. I'm excited for yeah. regular football. The That's first game of the too. week is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs against the Baltimore Ravens. And I am... God, go I'm, Ravens. I'm apparently... <laughs> here's what sucks, okay? I hate the Kansas City Chiefs with everything in my body. However, I have a lot of Kansas City Chiefs players on my fucking fantasy team. I have Isaiah Pacheco. I have Harrison Butker, the kicker, and the Chiefs defense. I think I want to just drop the Chiefs defense so I don't have to root for them. But this is this is a tough one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't I don't know what to do. 
Jeremy, you don't even root What's for the bigger? Chiefs anymore. What's bigger, your hate for the Chiefs or your ego? My ego. <laughs> well, there you go. You yeah. made your decision. My ego is root way bigger. Root for the bigger. Chiefs, then. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So, but Jeremy, are you still not rooting for the Chiefs? I don't, I don't root for the Chiefs anymore. Okay. And I think, <clears throat> in all likelihood, I think the Ravens are probably going to win this one. Okay. It's in Kansas City. Just because a, right. Kansas City always takes a few games to get going. Mm-hmm. Is yeah. it in Kansas City? Huh? It's in Kansas City? It is it? in Kansas City, if I remember correctly. I'm going to keep my decision. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in waited. that case. Mm-hmm. Now, I could be I totally dead wrong. I, said. I, I do want to point out, though, that you have said for many years of being on the show that uh, you can't stand uh, the head coach, which is Andy Reid. Who has won. It's not that I can't stand him. I don't understand why he wasn't fired a long fucking time ago. Right. Who has also now won three, if I remember correctly, right. three uh, Super Bowl championships. And good yeah. for him. Okay. Good for him. Okay. But he's winning. Win, win, win. Not my, I'm, I made my decision. <laughs> okay. And I have to sit in. I mean, I, I would love to be able to sit here and say that my fucking team, you know, has won three of the last five Super Bowls. But... I, I made my bet. I got to lay in it. Okay. That's fair. I, I agree. See, here's what I don't agree with. And I know that the coach is a hugely important part of a team. But Talent, man. Right. I get that. Right. It, Bill Belichick didn't win fucking. Tom Brady did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can, we Bill can Belichick all, didn't win a bunch of We can all Super- agree Andy on that Reed, point. Andy Reid didn't win a bunch of Super Bowls. For once, I am agreeing with you 100%. Mahomes and Kelsey and yes. fucking Tyreek Hill, yeah. they won Super Bowls. Well, yeah. I and could one. coach these people, dude. One. Right. Oh, yeah. But 100%. I, if, you, if I was Tom Brady's head coach, he would have won just as many Super Bowls, <laughs> I assure you. I just don't get that. Okay, I don't know about that. No, but I do. I don't know if I know oh, about that. Oh, for sure. However, he would have won a lot of them. Bill Belichick, I, if you're listening, bring it the fuck on. <laughs> Give me two minutes, son. Give me two minutes. I, I think Andy Reid is a good person. Sure. I really do. I just I so disagree with the idea that he is a great coach. One of the best He's of all time. He's a good coach, <laughs> but he is not a great coach. Fight. It wasn't until he had what might be the most dynamic quarterback of all time. Correct. When he had plenty of very, very good quarterbacks and very, very good teams to work with and couldn't yeah. get it done. I think we're saying we're all saying the same thing. That I'm not saying the same thing as you ever. <laughs> I think In that, fact, I'm going to say that I love Andy Reid okay. now, <laughs> and I think he's probably the best of all time if you're agreeing with the previous point. Okay, all I'm saying is that there comes to a point to where talent eventually outshines the, the leadership, sure. I, I think, in this particular situation. So that's all I'm saying. Uh, moving on to the fun stuff. Uh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, my goodness. I, I got sent this video so many times from listeners, so I can't even, like, tag somebody or anything. But there was someone who was driving a Ford Bronco at high speed um, who ended up hitting a golfer in a golf cart at Deerfield Golf Course in Newark, Delaware, our favorite state. And Boy. Fucking Google Maps let him way off the road, didn't it? <laughs> dude, this guy was like at a high rate of speed, by the way. On he, the golf course? On the golf course, dude. Are we talking a high rate of speed for golf courses? <laughs> or for, <laughs> or, yeah, or for, for how, how fast a car can go? <laughs> I mean, I think it was probably going at least 30 to 40 miles an hour. No kidding. Oh, dude, yeah. And he hit some he guy? Hit a, yeah. That was in a cart or just? Golf it, cart and and like and off the to the person. side. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Please tell me it was that asshole that killed his dog. <laughs> yes. Oh, fuck. It could have been. I have no idea. What I think. the fuck, dude, dude? People are what? fucking going nuts. What? There are so many questions that you get to before anything that led up to that. Like, why is he driving his Bronco on a golf course? Yeah, yeah. right. No, I Did he do I, it I on purpose? It. I don't like, was know. Was he just pissed off? I'm fuck, fucking I, golfers. Okay. Yeah, so well, I mean, if you take stupid a street, pants. If, yeah. you, if you take a street vehicle on the golf course, it, is it still etiquette to ask to play through? <laughs> Four. <laughs> no shit. No, but like, what in the fuck is going on? I, I honestly think that this person was under the influence of something. I don't 
the, there hasn't a been good a lot time. Of, That's what he was. Yeah, he was. was. <laughs> yeah, he was. You know, scoring points on a golf course. But uh, maybe his dad was a big golfer and he used to abuse his mother. And maybe fucking ran off with the decided. secretary and he's like, could you know be. what? Fuck golfers. Could have been. Maybe it really could have been. I don't know. The whole the details of the story are still being released. Um, mm. Well, we'll keep you up to date on that. But the last, well, I say, we just make up the details and have that be fact. Yeah, I okay. Agree. That's fair. It's but way easier. The last thing I'm going to bring up happens to do with nothing that's on your sheets. I can't wait to, to bring this up. But we have in uh, Wichita, Kansas, uh, something that's being called a serial pooper. Have you heard about this? No. I was sent it I to, know where he works. I was. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. He works at your work. Uh-huh. A poop. Uh, but no, uh, this is coming from KWCH 12 news, which is here, here in the Wichita area. Hard hitting news. Yep. Uh, They're on your side. And yeah. And they said that police are looking for a serial porch pooper after man seeing pooping on the same porch multiple times from a ring doorbell camera. The same porch. <laughs> The mm. same one. This he sounds just, personal. This is a. It's great. He's not a serial yeah, pooper. This, no. Yeah. I am He's, loving every minute of this. Yeah. Can they have identify, to know who it is. Jeremy, I'm going to give you the video. You're going to have to identify him and let me know if you recognize him, please. I'm not good at that. I've proven that. I'm 0 for 1 <laughs> so far. I probably I'm, wouldn't recognize him either. So I would care not to see the poop video. The the apparently but, the resident kept on walking out in the morning and like picking up the poop, thinking it was a the, cat. Oh no! And I'm like, so a it's cat. a tiny man. I'm like, yeah, yeah a very cat. small man. How the fuck did you think it was a goddamn it's a cat? Big fucking cat. The cat's gonna <laughs> bury that shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Literally, there's not bury a litter box shit. on your front porch. What the fuck? What if there is? There we don't know. I haven't seen yeah, the video yet. That's true. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying. That's, uh, you know, that's the video of said thing. That's a woman. That's, that? a, that's a dude. Look at the color of that show. shirt. No man would wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Other and than you and your senior pictures. I mean, that's, okay, good point. It's an awfully that's dark true. picture. No, but I like, I want to catch this motherfucker. I want to go to said porch and like just. And shake his hand, his yeah, unwashed hand. Absolutely. Like, how do you wipe? What are you doing? What are you wiping with? How many times has this happened? I think four is what I heard. And they haven't caught him. I guess you, not. <laughs> you have you shit on my porch once. This is what I'm talking about. This is when the media oversteps their bounds and they tell somebody, hey, we've got a serial pooper on the loose whenever they should shut the fuck up and go to this person's house and catch him in the act. I have never heard the legal definition of serial pooper before. Because like a serial killer has three or more victims. This is one victim over right. and over Touché. again. This is Correct. more of a repeat offender. Right. Good point. I and agree. honestly, okay, if somebody shits on your porch once, okay, you're thinking like fucking kids. But if four times, <laughs> same person, you got to narrow down who you've pissed <laughs> off. Right. That's what I'm saying. There's only <laughs> At the so very many least. people you will encounter in your life that you will piss off enough at the very least you get into a ghillie suit and lay in a pile of leaves and wait for that motherfucker to come back because he's coming back he's coming back (laughs) they need somebody from like hgtv to come look at their porch find out what it is about it that gives it such curb appeal appeal. (laughs) or it's attracting cereal shitters you could just leave a taco bell gift card on the porch that way you know they're coming back absolutely you know what i mean like oh here go have some taco bell see oh what happens. my god have like a ah oh, never mind or really fucking leave a plunger <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you clogged it last time or just like one of those like toilet paper holder things uh-huh. just right and there a baggie, on the yes. dog bags yes yeah that'd be fun that's what i'm talking about just now we some got toilet going. paper there you ah, go i enjoy it uh, anyways, but ladies and gentlemen, that is well, this week's, our thoughts and uh, prayers go out to the family. Yes, yeah, dude, I cannot Very imagine. Very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck. Hope you uh, hope you get over having to clean up shit. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, th- that was hot topics, and now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. It's where you guys have actually participated. Thank you guys very much for participating in Month Day Fun Day. Uh, you guys had quite a few, uh, quite a few of them that I I decided to select. Uh, we're gonna kick this off with Never Have I Ever, and we're gonna start off with Nathan Ven- uh, Ventre or Venture. I don't know. What do you think, JP? That's a toughie. Yeah, I think it's Ventre. I'll just call him Nate or Venter. Maybe I don't know, but we're gonna go with Nate. Nate Maybe wants Ventre, like Entree. It could be the Nate V. v. 
Yeah, yeah. But Nate, Nate, v. Nate wants to know. Let's talk about his name. <laughs> Nate wants to know. It may not even be Nathan. <laughs> it may not. It may this is one of these assholes who definitely makes minimum wage. Right, 100%. <laughs> voluntarily as well. Uh, but he wants to know, never have I ever stolen a street sign. JP, I guarantee you you have. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Jeremy, more I'm a little, than once, probably. Jeremy, I'm a little bit like yeah. more of a question. No, I think he has. Listen, goddamn it, that shit was paid for with my tax dollars. I <laughs> own the son of a bitch in the first place. There you go. <laughs> I never have. Of course, I have. Really? Never. I was young, no. hmm. and and I hung out with the kind of people that, that definitely that. definitely yeah. would. But I never did. I never had that opportunity. I still have some of them. Do you really? In my buddy's garage. Oh, like there, he's got. A bunch of street signs and stuff in there. Yeah, see, I just, and, uh, I just yeah, never did. I don't know why. We were not, you know, millions. It was cool. It was a cool thing to do for, you know, back, for a while. Like, and like, if you found the street that has the same last name, yeah, and stuff like that. Oh yeah, but these were stop yield signs. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not you, that it matters. You got it. It's, it is. It's one thing to take a street sign. It's a whole other thing to take a stop sign. Yeah, well, you yeah. Could, you could I mean, I know it. people are, don't think about that shit when they're young. Correct. I have. I wouldn't steal a stop sign now. No. But Rail back across, then, maybe. I would. Yeah, it, you take away a four-way stop sign and cause a damn accident in the country. That, I mean, that's Here's a real the thing. thing. The other three should have fucking stopped. <laughs> I mean, true. Right. The one person should be, be free and clear to go through. Right. Yeah. I don't think four-way stops are those are dumb anyway. We need three-way stops. Three-way <laughs> stops. Three-way stops. Four-way stops is too many stops. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's just too many stops. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I mean, if everybody else is doing it, if yeah. they all jumped off a fucking bridge, would you, would you do it? <laughs> if there was a sign that told me so, I had to, then yeah, yes. Then yes. Fair enough. So I, I, I obey the law. Uh, right. Okay. Next one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know, never have I ever stuck my nose into something that I shouldn't have. Is this literal or? Oh. That's kind of where I'm going. Hang on a second, because JP is thinking dirty. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everyone else is too. Oh, no. Dude, <laughs> here's the thing. Yes, man. I have. You can't, if you have some guy's balls in your mouth, oh, you can't geez. help that your oh. nose is right in his ass. No, no. You can't help it. No, it's no. Just Are you doing it? No, no. no. So, yes, uh, my answer is yes. Are you doing it voluntarily and making Absolute, minimum wage? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'm not even making minimum wage. I do this shit for free. You do this shit for free. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yes, I have done that before. But anyways, uh, I'm talking about, like, I think the person is asking, have you stuck your nose in a particular situation of, like, a family and friends kind of thing? Oh. To where you shouldn't have. The proverbial nose. Correct. You didn't say that. I didn't for a right. reason because this is a comedy show. You think that's what he meant, but really he just means. He just means. Where have you stuck your nose? Yeah, right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, um, I have. Have you? Yep. What'd you do? Absolutely. Started talking to you about politics related shit. <laughs> It was a yeah. mistake. It's definitely Jeremy? a mistake. I'll win every time. Um, I'm sure I have, but it's been a long time because it's been a while since I gave a fuck. Yeah. I have just really... And, and it's not even that I don't give a fuck. It's that I have enough trouble maintaining me in my life yeah. and keeping my shit straight, let alone having to worry about what everybody else is doing. That's fair. That's a good thing. I get asked relationship advice so much which is so weird dude because you've obviously dude, there's found be the most he's doing beautiful right. delusional woman in the world I know. and there's none left I know. so i don't know what they're hoping for i i get asked so Fucking often lightning to strike twice is what yeah they're hoping that's for. just yeah and and then i give them my advice and then i get hooked into it and yeah. so now i'm stuck and i just can't be like all right no i can't i can't i can't be a part of this anymore yeah but but for the most part, the advice that I give is it normally pretty good. So I thought that too. And then a buddy of mine about maybe seven or eight years ago came uh -huh. to me and he's like, look, I just don't think that we're going to make it. And I was like, man, you guys have been, I mean, they were already had been together for like six or seven years, had yeah. kids, I mean, built a life together. And I was like, look, man, here's the thing. 
I just imploded my fucking 10 year plus relationship. You should too. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work either. You know? And I'm like, that's not, that's just bitter me giving it yeah. up. So then, yeah. no, I swear to you, the next day, his wife came in to the place I was working and was like, hey, I need to talk. Oh, no. And he, she's like, I don't know that we're going to make it. And I'm like, you know, I don't think so either. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. And no, no. But dude, yeah, it was bad. They're still together. They didn't take my advice. Good. And they're doing better than ever. Good. That's we're great. So thank God they didn't listen thank to Thank God they me. didn't listen to yeah. fucking you. Right. Anyways. All right. Next one comes in from Tyler P. Say. Tyler Piss. Piss? Pusse. <laughs> Pusse. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Pusse. Yeah. When you got a name that we don't know how to pronounce, it's this probably is probably peas. It's probably mm-hmm. peas. Yeah. Uh, but Tyler wants to know: Never have I ever spent time at work actively searching for a new job. I have. I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't found one, but by God, I'm searching. <laughs> JP's still working his minimum wage job. Yeah. Voluntarily. Yeah. Yep. And complains oh about it. If I made minimum wage, I would not do my job. I know. There's no fucking, fucking way. No. No fucking way. Uh, but yeah, I, I think actually, if you want me to be answering honestly, yes, you should do this actively. Um, if you find an opportunity for yourself to better your situation at any point in time, you should be like looking into that. Now, whether or not you're using the like work internet to do so is maybe a little bit questionable do it on your phone it's very kind of questionable thing. yeah do it on your phone uh but yes i have done this before jeremy <clears throat> not in a long time anyway <laughs> yeah, i know i worked in the same field for 26 years i've been right. with the same employer now for almost 19 mm-hmm. so yeah they've got you pretty locked in then yeah i mean <laughs> and that's that's the thing about constantly looking for another job People can make other jobs sound really good. Grass is always greener. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of of the opinion if you have something that's working out for you as opposed to the unknown. Yeah. I I like being steady and consistent. Yep. I need routine in my life and I've fallen into my routine. Uh but I mean, you know, if you absolutely hate where you're at, then by all means look for something different. Right. No, no, I wouldn't I, get caught doing it on company time. Yeah, don't do but, that. <clears throat> but that's all, just me. But we've all done it, I think. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is Never Have I Ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. Yeah, good old JP. <laughs> He's, he loves it. What? What are you laughing at? My Nothing. I, I gave him my new move. Oh, what's your new move? Hit it again. Okay. <laughs> okay, he threw it in there. Right. I know he hadn't seen it. Yet, uh, he hadn't so. seen it yet because I damn sure know he's not watching this fucking no, show. I don't, he's, I don't he's listen to on. it, let alone right. watch. Yeah. <laughs> what if I just every Wednesday I got home? Oh, turn the TV on. We gotta get it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. New laughing on the sidelines is out. You don't do that? Nope. Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm like, actually shocked by how many people do. I do. I, I, I and I'm on the show. I know. I can't wait to watch it. It, it was so cool to I'm see. Very like, full of myself. Like there was okay, I, and, and I want him to message me. I'm not I even see how joking. Good I look. Yeah. I'm not even joking. So at the comedy contest, there was this one guy. He was sitting at the bar with his wife. He was kind of a bigger guy, middle aged. He's probably our age, and he came to see you legitimately. To see fucking you do comedy, I don't blame him. Uh, well, duh. But he like one for a reason. I go up. Okay, I go up to get a so those, beer. So those guys, those people that you're talking about, uh-huh. they come into my restaurant. That's the only way that I know. Oh, that's cool. Know them, but they're very nice. Oh, they're, yeah. yeah. But this dude is sitting at the bar, and he can't even see you. Like, yeah. he's around the corner to where yeah, you can't right. see the stage. I wa- did you see me walk or, Like, if you watch the to video To the point where he now, was confused with John Cena. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. But if you watch the video back, and you can see me go to that side of the stage and kind of walk around uh-huh. and look at them several times yeah. to make sure that I, they knew that, hey, I saw you. I appreciate you coming. Yeah. I did on purpose. Be, watch the video back, and you'll see it. It'll be crazy. Okay. That's how but, you yeah. know you've got a great venue when there's places in there that they can't, can't see, see you. <laughs> yeah. can't see. It's the <laughs> best place. There, there's oh. a, a very small small bar in Wichita that does a lot of comedy shows. For some reason, people keep putting shows on there called Kirby's Beer Store. Yeah. And there is a pole, right? A support beam <laughs> right on the corner of the fucking stage that blocks half of the place oh. from seeing you. Now, the place doesn't hold but maybe 15 people. 
<laughs> anyway, and now Jesus. seven and a half of it's them can't more see. Than 15, not many more. But not many more. But fucking that's funny. <laughs> the police hold 15 people. Including the employees. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, the smell really oh, helps that, bring yeah. people in. Mm. But anyways, this they, guy is do like. Do they not know what a mop is? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Some places, man. Uh, but no, the guy's sitting around the fucking corner and yeah. like I go up and order a beer and he's just like, hey, man, thank you very much for doing the podcast. I listen every single Wednesday and I'm just like, what the fuck? You are outside of our target demographic. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, dude. But so crazy enough, I've had since the competition and yeah. all that. Oh, yeah. I have had unreal amounts of friend requests and people messaging oh, yeah. me saying you were awesome and just talking about the show. That's and, the point. But yeah. And I've tried to respond to every one of them. And they're so shocked when I respond. They're like, man, we've messaged Scotty before. He never says shit back. I don't. You're a real piece of shit, man. That's what I'm getting at. I am. But no, I love it. And yeah, uh, but that's yeah. but that's the point of the show. Yeah. The point of the show is exactly that. That's and a couple the of them have point. been hot. I couldn't <laughs> believe it myself. Jesus Christ. I was shocked at a couple of them. I was like, uh, I meant to bring a couple... I don't know, but anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, I was like, I'm not wow, shocked. holy shit. A, a bunch of people apparently listen to the show yeah. are, you know, in their middle-aged years, possibly younger, and yeah. attracted to JP. These couple were, these couple of people were younger, of course. Yeah, of course. But anyways, let's move on to that's where I draw the line, for the love of God. <laughs> Jeremy, I think, came in here today, and he's like, I'm going to say as least as possible. As little as possible. I'm just going to sit there and let them just fucking go <laughs> I, off. I really want to hear them discuss that. Yeah. yeah. I could... He's very entertained right now. Right. You now should. I know why he doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> right. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is That's Where I Draw the Line. We're going to kick this off with Braxton Lint. He has the first one, which is, uh, where do you draw the line? How long is too long of a flight? Oh, man. In a plane? In a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Period. Yeah. I fucking hate planes. Like off of a roller coaster? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. This is not. Any. Any length, but oh god, honestly, Ugh. anything more than three hours for me, my knees start locking up. Yeah, we're supposed to go to Japan next year. Oh Ooh. my god, and I couldn't do it. I hope there's frequent stops along the way. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. No, way, no way, no how. I, f I, Dude, feel, I, I physically get sick. I feel like a terrible husband. I feel yeah. like a terrible husband. My you wife are. Wants, I am, but like. At least my, you feel that way now. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> it yeah, wasn't always the such case. Such a reason uh, for that. No, I feel like a terrible husband because my wife wants to like go and travel Europe and I'd like, hey, we could. I would love to. I would love to. But, but I have to fly to get flight. there. Dude, if I fly from here to Denver, oh. I'm in the air for 45 minutes and I am so sick when I get off the plane oh. because I can't get that airflow and I can't. Can't fucking oh I just I, the pressurization and that's the, the thing it fucks it, me it doesn't up. it doesn't even physically it damage physically me it fucks no me but up. this is why I'm a piece of shit it's because it doesn't even physically I damage me you I think don't get that's sick. why you're a piece of shit I legitimately am terrified of flying this is a not a like reasonable fear I would to rather, have I would rather be terrified of flying oh. than, but I physically like I throw up and shit it's oh not, no you know, I can't I mean if it was just a fear I'd get over it. I, I, like when I'm in the air and flying, I'm fine as long as the plane ain't doing weird shit. If it starts doing weird shit, then I start fucking panicking. Yeah, but, but you don't fly enough to know if it's weird shit or not. Maybe I, it's I, normal shit. Because I'm terrified of fucking right. flying. This is yeah. the same shit. So yeah, okay. my uh, my answer is your answer is you're a piece of shit. I'm go yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I'm the best answer we've heard. No, I, I I have to fly in uh in two weeks because of my ten year anniversary, which I should be extremely excited to do with my wife, and I'm terrified. Of the day. Yeah, dude, I'm dreading it. I don't blame you. Day bro. by day. Yeah, I don't blame you. So that's that's where I'm at. All right. Next one. Next one comes in. Uh, I don't even know where it comes in from uh, because I think I created this one. I think by Derek myself. Alders. You know what? We're going to give credit to Derek Alders <clears throat> on this one. Derek wants to know uh, where do you draw the line? Things that are okay to steal from a friend's house. I think anything in a glass case is fair game. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, especially at Derek's house. It had, yeah, right. <laughs> it had somebody right. else's name on it, so it's not like it was even his. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. I I agree. Uh, but no, I like what. What do you draw the line? Like, if you go over to your uh, somebody house, okay, you're staying in my house in two weeks. 
house to take care of my dogs. Like, what is okay to steal and what is not okay to steal? You'll find out when you get home. You can't wait. Nothing is okay. Like a roll of toilet paper? Not even that. Not even that? I just you don't. You use it while you're here. Right. Yeah, yeah okay. But I'm not going to be like. If if I really needed a roll of toilet paper that bad that I was going <laughs> to steal it from you, I'd be like, yo, bro, I'm going home. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm taking this toilet paper with right. you. Right. Right. No, I get it. But I just, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. And I like stole the toilet- a pen. Huh? I stole a pen. You did steal a pen from on me. On purpose because you fucking asshole. I felt like I wanted to take something with me. For yeah, the show. <laughs> chances are Scotty stole that pen in the first place. He did. It wasn't even his. <laughs> he I, did. I know I, he did. I ordered it said these motherfuckers. Mel Hamilton and, Ford oh, on that. It. Okay. Yeah, and you returned it to its totally rightful stole. owner. That's what yeah. you did. You're a hero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, I did. I drove over there straight away. Ah, oh, jeez. Said, Lisa, I think I have something that belongs <laughs> to you. <laughs> All right, and last one, where do you draw the line? This comes in from Taylor Hartley. He wants to know, what's the number of drinks to make an ugly person fuckable? Well, it depends on what you're drinking. And how ugly the person is. (laughs) How ugly the person is. There are two variables in this deal that I, like if you're drinking Long Island iced teas, let's go with that. Okay, so that's, that's early fuck up time, okay? And you're dealing with a two, but they're skinny, and, you know, they're skinny. As Let's, long as they're not fat, you'll right. fuck them. That's that exactly what, what I'm saying. Okay. 100%. I'm Very like, good. okay, three <laughs> long three Long Island iced teas into and a skinny enough. two. That's good that's for me. That's good for you? Okay. <laughs> three Long Island iced teas and a skinny two. And that's skinny an answer. Two. That's an answer. That's my answer. How about you, JP? Oh, man. I don't know because... <laughs> I don't count. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'd, I wouldn't fuck him. And then, you know, halfway through the night, I don't sure. realize how many drinks I've had. I'm like, he'll walk back by, and I'm like, mm. and he'll look at me kind of, you know, like, and I'm like, huh, maybe, I will, maybe I'll fuck him. Like the comedian that took the train all the way here at the Correct. Con? Yeah. <laughs> no. That's, okay. So if that's the fucking, if that's the bar that we're setting, I'm going with 80 drinks. 80. 80 is my answer. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Here's the truth about getting drunk to fuck somebody. <laughs> you're, you're not getting so drunk that they become fuckable to you. They already were. You're getting so drunk that it's excusable <laughs> to explain to other people. That you have an there, excuse. there is nobody you would fuck drunk that you wouldn't fuck sober if you knew nobody would find out about it. I don't know, man. I love the. Th- I love what you're saying, but I don't know, man. I mean, have you had some it's, questionables? It's at, it's at what point can you blame so, it on the alcohol to your buddies and they it, will let it go? When you wake up in the morning, you roll over and you think you're in bed with a woman, but you realize it's just a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, and I wouldn't do that sober. Oh, oh my god! But I did it, and I was drunk. I've never done it. I've never done it. I've never had sex with yeah. somebody that I would not have sex with okay. sober. I've never. I done have. It. Oh, well, you're, I have. you're the exception to the rule. Uh, but anyways, ladies, but only that once, <laughs> only that one time he's right. Uh, everybody else that everybody else that I fucked that I was like, Oh, maybe I shouldn't. But then I drank to get to the point where like, Oh yeah. Liquid f- confidence yeah, is right, a real that, thing. More relaxed, more. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm not fucking anyone else tonight. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is That's Where I Draw the Line. Thank you guys so very much for participating in Monday Fun Day. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do this because we were about ready to lose our shit before this episode even started because we kind of started rifting and Jeremy Joseph kind of does his thing. Uh, But we are going to have Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph. Very excited for this. This uh, comes in from Travis Chrisman. And uh, And can we please remind everybody, it's bad advice. Bad advice. That's the name of this. Bad advice. Mm. Don't do this, Travis. I'm telling you, don't do (sighs) this. But Travis wanted to know, he he, he writes. (laughs) Travis Christman, you're my hero. (laughs) He, He writes, dear Jeremy, I am a school bus driver. I drive for elementary, middle, and high school kids. Many of these kids can be loud and obnoxious when I am driving them to their destination. What should I do to handle these loud and unruly kids on the bus? I don't even know why you're playing the music. This is a pretty short and sweet answer. <laughs> kids are, are simple creatures. 
They are not tough to figure out. Uh, basically, what you do is you find the most problematic, uh, you know, biggest problem that you have. Uh, you pull him up in front of the rest of the kids and you rape him. <laughs> <laughs> Make all the others watch. They will fall in line. <laughs> in my opinion, there is nothing that says no nonsense bus driver <laughs> like somebody who uses that as a form of discipline. That's my advice. That's, oh, that's fucking good advice. Uh, short and sweet and to the point. There uh-huh. you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, was, it was every bit as funny this time. Oh, it sure um, was. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, they'll fall in line after that. They will. They will. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much, Travis. Appreciate you for uh, he's, sending that comment he's in. Never, he's never asking another question. Never again. Never again. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. <laughs> or he will rape them and then be like, hey, Jeremy told me to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that segment does not come with bail money. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh my God. All right. Uh, But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We've got quite a few this week, so let's just kick this off. We're going to start with Frank uh, Garcia, uh, I think. Is that right, JP? Yeah. Are you sure it's not Garcia? It could be Garcia. I bet it's Garcia. I bet it's Garcia. You don't know how to type. My, <laughs> probably, my guess would be it's Frankie Garcia. It's Fra- oh, no, it is. It's Frankie. Yeah. It's my buddy Frankie. I'm right. sorry. Hi, uh, hi Frankie. Yeah, uh, uh, your buddy. Yeah, my buddy. I just mistyped shit. Uh, but wow. Fra- Frankie you wants... said that with a lisp. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie wants buddy. to know, rejected names for the laughing on the sidelines rec league softball team. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nobody wants to go. I know. I don't <laughs> like Jesus Christ. That would never happen. I, know, right? I would never <laughs> for any amount of money in the world. I would be like, Hey man, we're forming a softball team. It's, it's laughing on the sidelines. You want to know why I would, are you in? You know, why I would, why would you, I want to see Derek play softball. No, dude, oh, nobody dude. wants to see that. I think it would be hilarious. I, I want it on video. Of course it would be hilarious. He would be but. the 2024 20, Kingman County worst player are we, in the doing this in, are we doing this in Kingman Apparently County? Apparently we're doing it yeah, in Kingman we're, County. We're doing so in Jeremy's County. in. So yeah, no. Jeremy has to. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like driving here. Yeah, well, Let alone enough. to Kingman. Yeah. But once you're named Kingman County anything of the year. Anything of the year. Right. You, you own ha- it. You have a duty Yeah. Yeah. to go and well do these sort of things this is easy this the answer to this question is the laughing on the sidelines softball team right yeah well, I, I, okay i don't think so i mean what do you got jeremy the finger bangers <laughs> the finger the bangers, bangers okay. okay all right that's and fair. our mascot is a, a drunk pack, pack of cigarettes, cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> yes 100 percent. that i like i like that too all right uh next one comes in from deb deb thank you frank Garcia. <laughs> thank you frankie <laughs> sorry buddy francis francis Garcia. francis yeah uh, next one comes in from Dev Dev. Uh, he wants to know if you could, or I'm sorry, if you could create a disease, what would it be? Oh my God. If you could create a disease, what would it be called and what are the symptoms? So this, this is a fake thing, not like AIDS. Yeah, it's not real. Oh. Because <laughs> allegedly we created that. Yeah, you did. It's yeah. actually you created that. You yeah, were the sole creator zero. of that. Yeah, you were a patient. That's what zero. my disease would be called patient zero. Patient zero. <laughs> and it would just make you want to suck dick all the time. Oh my God. No. And I would infect you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look at me for that? You I didn't dick. even look at Jeremy at all. I, not at all. Because I like, Je- at I like Jeremy and I respect Jeremy. Oh, my you, God. <laughs> but fuck I'll infect you. the fuck out of you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, that was my answer. Uh, I don't know. How about you, Jeremy? What do you got? Uh, streptococcal fasciitis. <laughs> It's where you get strep throat in your feet. Oh, that's got to be rough. That's got to be rough. It is. You actually get such a high fever in your feet that your toes rupture. Oh, god damn. Oh my my god. god. That isn't good. That's fucking great. Uh-huh. Oh, son of a bitch. I've got absolutely nothing. Well, then I'll I, take one more. I, uh, I would call it COVID, and I would ruin the world with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll steal that one then. Uh, wow. Yeah. Just right in front of the guy. <laughs> yeah. That's that's something that's not okay to steal from right. friends. It's jokes. That's, cool. that's fine. 
Uh, next one. It's the only way he'll get any. Let that, him have them. That's it. I guess he's stealing your joke from his house. Yeah, that's so, true. That's true. Technically, we did sign a contract. And that, I do uh, have a gun on me right yeah. now. <laughs> so I'm just saying. You're going to need a silver bullet, son. Hey, buddy, I got I got him loaded. Okay. Uh, next one comes in from Caleb Hill. He wants to know, if you could breed any two animals to make a new kind of animal, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um, I should have read these ahead. Yeah, you should have. A I, porcupine and a jaguar. That'd that be way, it'd just be a really fucking fast porcupine. <laughs> God, like, it'd be like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the, the Hedgehog. hedgehog. Fuck yeah. yeah. That'd be jaguar okay. Jaguar and a hedgehog. That'd be perfectly fine. Sonic. Absolutely. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, I would do a horse and a snake. <laughs> <laughs> And it would just be a well, horse that had to slither, and that way they could never break their legs, so you wouldn't have to shoot them. <laughs> there there you go. Problem solved. Problem and solved. And they're into the gate. <laughs> <laughs> However, they are venomous. Nice. <coughs> I'm. Uh, I'm gonna go with a snake head or horse My, head. It just literally looks like a horse with it's, no legs. It's a horse with fangs. Okay. Okay. Fair my, enough. My son and I did decide that the difference between a deer and a unicorn is that the unicorns aren't venomous. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Deer are. I'm going to go with an elephant and the great white shark hmm. because that would then make the thing that I'm absolutely terrified of probably still pretty dangerous but but loud as fuck and i could hear him from long ways away i wouldn't know how that how would that work or is it still it's still in the water water. yeah it's still in the water but it has a tusk that and i'm good with that i think that's fine that's a trunk that does a shark with a a tusk and a trunk and a trunk yeah and he has big ass ears. tusk doesn't make any noise and so he's not even he's not even aerodynamic does it have legs and feet no absolutely not no it's a it's a shark except for the trunk the ears and the ears yes does he have that so he's got the ears so that's not going to work well in the water no. right at all so he's gonna, gonna get ear back. infections <laughs> yeah, yeah he's gonna need cotton balls for days <laughs> yeah exactly so now you don't got to worry about the sharks but now you got to worry about these fucking rattle snorses around <laughs> rattle, <laughs> rattle snorses and yeah. they are native to Kansas. Yeah, but for sure. They should be. They're everything that Jeremy wants mm-hmm. to create. As they should be. And uh, all right, okay. next next one comes in from Matthew Rothermich. He wants to know what is something you would do on vacation that your family would hate. I already know the answer. I've already done this. Smoke pot. Drink too yeah. much. Yeah. Okay. Same same premise. I know. I've seen me do it. So, Every time I walk in, they're like, oh, you smell great. <laughs> like, uh, like, what do you expect? What do you fucking think? Yeah. Uh, so for my honeymoon, uh, I, we went to Myrtle Beach, and we went to a bar and had a couple of cocktails and stuff like that, and I drank way too much and went home and uh, fell asleep mm. on our vacation. Don't mm. do that. On your honeymoon. On my honeymoon. She's probably thankful. Nope. She still brings she it up. She fucks somebody. She still brings yeah. it up every day. Or like every every year. Well, it's, it's something, something she can hang shit on you she about. She can. I bet you she was relieved. And guess what? She's right. I'm a dick for doing that. So, yep. yeah. How about okay. you, Jeremy? Oh, it's something I already do, which is get up too early. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I, sleep in. I am just naturally programmed. I wake up about 530 in the morning anyway. Jesus, that's And early. so... Plus, when like we're on vacation, we almost always go to some place like a theme park or something. Yeah, and like you should. It's it's the same price whether you go when they first open or middle of the afternoon. <laughs> and God damn it, we paid for this shit. I want to get my money's <laughs> worth, and so I want to be there when the fucking gate opens. Plus, there's no line at the fucking rides at that point. Hundred percent agree. Get up, you lazy bitch. Hundred percent. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> Next one comes in from Big Mike F. Uh, he wants to know what is the guy version of the Hawk Tua chick? JP. Hawk Tua. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. But what's, what's the, the guy version? I, I think the guy version is still a Hawk Tua, but it's like a spit on it and lick it kind of thing. It's more like a Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> you know oh. what I mean? There's no Tua. There's no Tua. It's just you hawk and then... Oh, okay. And you choke on it for a while and then it's slick enough. You can just roll over and take care of business. I also think it's somebody with like clown face on. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they just smear that fucking face paint all hmm. over that shit. Okay. I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about this question. That's the, <laughs> that's the only way my wife will let me go down on her. <laughs> yeah. if I'm wearing clown, clown makeup. makeup. Clown yeah. makeup. Okay. Who could blame her? Yeah, absolutely. How about, yeah. You, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, I think it's like, you know, pinch your nose and, and dive a little deeper. <laughs> yeah, that's true. For Okay. See, Sorry. I was looking at it as a gay man. I need to look at it as a straight man. Right. Yeah, because that's completely different. You're grazing both holes now. Uh, uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Let's call back to the previous question of have you ever stuck your nose no, something, something you, you shouldn't, shouldn't have. have? Yes, I have. It's that. That's what that is. Yep, uh-huh. I agree. And last one comes in from our friend, Mr. Keith Litsky. Uh. He wants to know, if you were running for president, what would your campaign slogan be? Vote for me. I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I mean, I had to go with that. Because, Absolutely. That's the only thing yeah, that makes sense. I feel sense. like if I didn't say that, people are like, ah, oh, bullshit. Uh, vote for me. I'll blow up the IRS building. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Again, same joke from many shows ago. You didn't I'm, preface it with I'm, this I'm, is bad I'm, advice. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay, Jeremy, how about you? <laughs> JV is like, like going away. Pretend I was never here. I was never here. How about you, Jeremy? <laughs> Vote for me and shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Absolutely. Great. I'm trying it. to work here. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Dude, like, if we don't get buttons with Jeremy's face on and say, vote for me and <laughs> shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up. I, what are we really doing? I know, right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm is... I'm pretty sure that, <laughs> that the existence of this show means that none of us can ever run for office. Oh, one Correct. Ever. For anything. Correct. I couldn't even be a fucking city councilman. No. I don't, Definitely not. I don't know. No. I think... No. No. I agree with Jeremy. I think it's turning around. I think people... I think you're wrong. Not, I, I not, think, not to this level. No. I couldn't even... You know, my dream has always been he to, just to said, be a comp troller. <clears throat> Less than five minutes ago, he just said that that guy should rape a uh-huh. fucking school <laughs> a bus driver. A school, in front of the, a school in, bus yeah, driver. Right. <laughs> school bus driver should rape... I've yeah. never said that. Right. But you said worse. You, you just laughed said at I want to blow up the IRS I d- building. I did laugh at it, and I okay. did say that. That's as a, enough. As You're, a guilty. Joke. You're guilty. You might as well have raped those kids yourself. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe something along the lines. <laughs> Maybe something. You're just as guilty as the guy who wrote that in. <gasps> Maybe. As this bus driver who's probably going to go. Sure. <clears throat> I don't Make know. an example out of some troublemaker. Like maybe people would get behind me about the whole IRS building situation. You never know. Well, you're going to get behind somebody <laughs> yeah. in a school bus. <laughs> you never know. But ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Thank you guys so much for participating in Monday Fun Day. You can go every single Friday to our either Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page, X, and uh, check it out and leave a comment to see if we like uh, your suggestion for any of the segments this week. But now we get to move on to uh, a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines uh, draft. And uh, I don't even know why JP and myself actually showed up to this. Yeah, man, I'm usually the one bragging about how great I am and I win every draft. Yeah. And then Jeremy showed up. (laughs) I, You know what? I would kind of like... To win one of these motherfuckers. I would like you I to would, win. Just, I, I really would. You have to come up with better picks. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, you got to get people to like you. Yeah. I like how a whole bunch of like listeners last week were like, I really want to vote for Scotty. But. <laughs> but there were also a bunch of them that were like, you, I would normally never vote for Dicks. Scotty, but I'm gonna. No. There were those I, there people was, too. There was a couple. There yeah. was a couple. I give you that. Yeah. I had a lot of good picks about, you know, my favorite candy. Yeah. They and, just uh, weren't as good and as mine. voted for JP. That's weird. <laughs> All right. We get it. You it's like, like you, sixth, you sixth like time JP. in a row or something. You I like JP, but. Do you, I have good answers, man. Do you like 
Jeremy Joseph more yes. is the question. 100% they Just do, saying. and I'm okay with I, that. I do. I like him more, <laughs> like, <laughs> by a long shot. Uh-huh. It's <laughs> not I, even close. That's valid. That's valid. So, uh, but anyways, I'm okay with it. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, JP won last week's episode. He gave himself his own blowjob blow on his own time. It was awesome. It was good time. It was really um, good. But, uh, uh, it so, was awkward, so because, though, because I was yeah, at a family reunion. So 100%. Yeah, I'd that's true. I'd have my... my Cousin, hold my ankles. <laughs> Jesus and, Christ. Because uh, you know fuck? I can't do it without somebody holding my ankles. Right, I, I get it. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this week we are going to do uh, a draft where JP gets the championship picks. He gets the champion picks as the last pick. I get the Eiffel Tower picks because I came in last place and, and Mike's not here. And Jeremy Joseph gets the first overall pick. And this week's draft is going to be our favorite things that are red. The color red. Boy, this fucking dress, this well is running dry. It is. It is. It runs out pretty quick. Yeah. Next. No, it's been several years. I mean, I wouldn't say it ran out quick, but just anything red. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Next week, we're going to do our favorite things that are green. It's going to be a fun time. Yeah, we're going to go through all the colors all of, of the, the rainbow. All of the colors of the rainbow. Because no, we're very. Are you going to put shades <laughs> in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Anything mauve. Yep. Anything mauve. Anything. Absolutely. But no, uh, so that is this week's draft. Uh, our favorite things that are red. And uh, yeah, that's that's what you get. All right. All right. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get to start us off. Uh, a baboon's ass. <laughs> a baboon's Very well. ass. Very, Very good. good. Very good. I'm going to go with baboon. Okay. Uh, I, I'm i going to draft something that I'm going to probably kind of steal from you. Just Dude, assume. if you draft it, I'm going to fucking cross it out because no, it's on my list. There's a reason. No, there's a reason I'll cross it out. There's a reason. I said it first. It's much bigger. Go ahead, but. Clifford. I, the- dude, dude, <laughs> shut up, dude. You read my, you fuck. Don't say another word, man. I swear to Christ, I will walk out of here right now. <laughs> Stop reading my paper, man. <laughs> no, there's no way. No, I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't. I did but, not. But I did not. I I was gonna say Clifford the Big Red Top. And then look at my second one. <laughs> I was gonna say Clifford the They're Big. Both. Oh my Come god! Come on, man. No, no, I did not. I did not. I said Clifford you, the Big you Red Top. half my thick. list. <laughs> I did, but I did. It was going to be way funnier when I did it. I know it was, but I, I mean, you I fucked t- me. I took it. Okay, man. Okay. I got you. But I, cause, cause me and JP go out every single wow. like break that we have and we I talk. I can't believe you. And, and he said that he was going to take a red rocket, but I didn't tell you the specifics. He did not. And I was sitting there going like, Ooh, mm, I could probably capitalize on this. And I'm going to go with Clifford, the big red dogs, red rocket. So his dick, that's what I'm going to go with. So Clifford, um, and JP, uh, go ahead. No. Oh. <laughs> Do you have any picks? <laughs> My first two picks were Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> And Clifford, the Big Red Dog's Red Rocket, <laughs> were my first two picks, but now I'm scratching all that. Yeah, I should. Fuck. <laughs> dude, you're a piece of shit, I didn't. dude. I, you I, really want to win did, that bad I where did. you're stealing all my fucking thunder? Fuck yeah, okay. I'm going to cheat, motherfucker. All right, so but I just didn't. know that I did Scotty not cheat. cheated. Did oh, not, 100%. I did not cheat. For sure you did. Mm-hmm. Um, Anyways. Just redheads in general. Redheads? 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 Okay. I love redheads. No, that's good. I like redheads. Hmm. I think My that God. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> you don't even know. Like I'm so mad. Hey, can I ask you a question? Does anybody know a redhead that doesn't have big boobs? Anybody? I'm just I, I'm just asking I'm sure a question. There are some. I I, just, I don't know. I, I can't think of any offhand. Okay, okay, all right, that's a legitimate question. All right, uh, JP, what do you got next? Uh, you got redheads. I've got Clifford, the big rig dog stick. <laughs> Which also fucked me on Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> right. Uh, the X's on like AGT or X Factor or whatever when they hit oh, their buzzer. Oh, yeah. The, All I right. I love it when people get fucking That's X'd. That's good. All right. Oh, That's like the Family Feud? Yeah. yeah. Nice. I love when they get Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because yeah. it comes with a the sound. Big, the Big Red yeah. X. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Um, I am going to go with... What do you got, JP? No, I'm kidding. Nothing. Nothing now. You're fucking... <laughs> Here, dude. Sorry. Fucking, there you go. Sorry. Uh, okay. Take all you want. I. Uh, My God, man. You suck. Uh, uh, I'm going to go. I got two that I really want, but I don't want to fucking. Tell them both to me. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I didn't think so. Write them down. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I didn't figure. Uh, I think My God. you can't have Christmas without red. 
you can't have Christmas without red. So I'm going to go with Santa Claus. Santa Claus is red as fuck. Take your fucking sheet back. So I'm going to go with Santa Claus. All right? Weird. That's <laughs> When you have your own picks, you pick something like Santa Claus. Yeah, I like Santa Claus. But when you steal my picks, they're funny. I fucking love Christmas. Oh, good. Santa Claus, great pick. I, I do. I like I it. I hope you win. Jeremy Joseph, you get two in a row. Light districts. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> See. Of all my uh, of all the light districts, red light <laughs> districts are my favorite. favorite. They're the best. Okay. I'm gonna go with a pair of original Michael Jordans. Oh, Air Jordan. oh that's a good one. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. All right. I <laughs> I'm gonna go with my wife's ass. So you probably do give her the red ass <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You can figure that one out for yourself. JP, what do you got? Uh, a bad attitude is <laughs> yeah, what I got. I, I get it. <laughs> you got a bad attitude. Okay. Um, you got you man. Got, you had some picks written down right there. Yeah, but you've taken them all. <laughs> so now I'm. I had four, and I was going to wing the last one. And then did you, you did put, that. Did you pick an ass? I pick red wings. Red wings? Like boots? No. Oh. Like red wings. You know, like when you earn your red wings? Oh. Uh, oh, Mike. Mike did that. But, yeah. Red A lot wings. of guys have done that. Yeah. I have never done that. I will have not either, but I don't have anything <laughs> else to pick. I'm just hoping enough people agree with me to vote. <laughs> I mean, now I'm I have just never trying done to that. come up with shit. I don't want to ever do that. Do I either. get another one? Yeah, you get one more. Uh, fucking Cherry Jolly Ranchers. Oh. 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 That's a good one. Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right. <sighs> Snow Clifford the Big Red Dog. It sure as shit isn't. It I, is what it is. I targeted that one. I know you did. Uh, oh my God. Man. What is this show coming to? <laughs> I don't know. Jeremy's never coming back, by the way. <laughs> no, probably not. That was probably the case anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I have a real one. I have a real one. Okay, so they're all real, but, you know. Are they? Uh, yeah, they are. So there's only, like, a couple of images that you can show people, and they can hear it whenever you see it. Okay. And that is the rubber red dodgeball. Okay. That's, huh. that's, that's my uh, pick, okay. the dodgeball. Uh, Jeremy Joseph, you get your last two picks. Skins. There you go. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's what won the fucking draft. <laughs> oh. I think I would have had a chance. Damn it. I think I would have at least had a chance. Damn it. You if I got my first two picks. And your last pick. I'm torn between the two, but I'm going to go with Magnum P.I.'s car. Okay. All right. Ferrari, I have thought about Ferrari. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I thought about that. I thought about a red Ferrari, too. Like the Ferris Bueller's Day Off mm-hmm. one. God damn it. Okay. And the last, and certainly not least, my favorite baseball team just so happens to be the St. Louis Cardinals. So, I'm going to pick the Cardinal. Okay. I, Hilarious. I, I take that. I could have at least gone with <laughs> I don't know why I never win. <laughs> He could have at least gone with the Louisville Cardinal. It's got teeth. <laughs> That's true. No, but uh, like everybody says, like whenever somebody passes away in their family or something like that, and they get visited by a cardinal, that's the spirit of the. It, it, there's a yeah, lot no, of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, I don't sure. care. People, people say I'm stupid mad. shit. Yeah. I like the St. Louis Cardinals. It's anyway. not real. All right, fine. Uh, I see Jay- Cardinals all the time. There's no dead people. Okay. I mean, there are dead people, but not where I see the Cardinals. Fair enough. Uh, JP, your last and final pick for the draft. What do you got? So I was going to go with the Ferrari, Uh but I decided to do this one instead. Okay. Little Red Corvette. Little Red Corvette. That's good. I I actually do like that. Man, I would have had such a good list. If you didn't have. If you didn't fuck me. Dude, I thought about it outside. You didn't. I did. He loves getting fucked. And (laughs) normally. (laughs) Angry. Normally, yes, but not not when it fucks two of my picks up. I didn't mean to. And I get back to back, so I was red like boom, boom. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. (laughs) Vote for me anyway. (laughs) We're going to lose anyways. I know. We're losing. I could have got close. You could have. Not anymore. Not anymore.
But Jeremy. ladies and gentlemen. Great job, Jeremy. Thank you. That is. I appreciate and respect your pitch. <laughs> that is this week's draft. You can go to. Glad I wasn't sitting next to Scotty. They would have all been taken. Right. Correct. <laughs> what the Correct. fuck? Correct. I'm surprised uh, Scotty didn't take Confederate flag. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, really. Honestly, I'm shocked. That's true. My flag is black and yellow, sir. Uh, but you can go to Facebook. Beat it up or huh? Did That's you, not good. Yeah. You should see a doctor about that. No, my flag. Mm-hmm. The flag that I rep is black and yellow. Okay. Okay. But anyways, you can go to Facebook. Yeah. Way to bring com. shit to an ass grinding halt, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to Facebook.com/slash Laughing on the Sidelines. Or X, which is at LOT sidelines, and vote for the list that you like the most of your favorite things that are red. And uh, yeah. <laughs> what about Amy Adams' pubes? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thought about that myself. Yeah, I thought about that. One. I thought about the, the time that we tried to see if we could make my dick fall asleep and tying a string around it, <laughs> but I didn't pick it. But Anyways. Scott Fargus. <laughs> yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, remember him? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, he's the kid that got beat up by Ralphie in the Christmas story. Right. For anybody who doesn't know, absolutely, he but, was a redhead. But deserved now, it. <laughs> but now we can move on to our oh, well, my favorite part of every single episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And ladies and gentlemen, again, Lego! Let's do this shit. That's right, everybody. In honor of college football season getting kicked off, I chose this one. Now, uh, it used to be, it's not so much anymore, but it used to be that Thanksgiving Day was the big day for college football. And uh, on November 29th, uh, 1900, we're going in the Wayback Machine wow. when it comes to college football. Um, <clears throat> Did they even have the, Legos back then? No, probably not. I, well, I do don't know. Now and that's all that matters. I, I've done many of these that took place well before <laughs> Legos. I know that. I've gone back to medieval times and shit. <laughs> Uh, but this was in San Francisco, California. It was the annual football game between the Cal Bears and the Stanford Cardinal. It was just known back then as the big game. And at the game, uh, at the gate, many of the fans were surprised to hear that there was a $1 admission fee, which uh, by today's money would be the equivalent of about $40, which sounds very reasonable, but back then, like, nothing cost more than a dime to get into. <laughs> so, like, for a fucking dollar, people were just refusing to pay. However... They would not be de- denied their viewership. And a group of approximately 500 people chose to climb up to the roof of the nearby San Francisco Glass Factory so that they could watch the game from because the stadium wasn't really all that high. Now, the thing about that roof is it was really built to hold up to shit like rainwater. Not so much a whole bunch of fucking know. people. <laughs> And as a result, the uh, under the weight, it collapsed, which caused around 100 people to fall down 40 feet onto the factory floor. Here's the problem with falling 40 feet. It does not ensure that you're going to die. However, it will make you wish you had yeah. died, especially given the fact that this was the floor of a glass factory. So the floor is covered oh. with glass melting furnaces. 30 foot by 90 foot glass melting furnaces with a surface temperature of approximately 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is where pretty well all of them fell onto. That's going to leave a mark. Yeah, and they got pinned down to that shit by a lot of different issues going on. Uh, All in all, 23 people wound up dying that day while the rest suffered severe injuries, primarily, guess what? Burning. Burns. (laughs) Burns, yeah. Burns and uh, broken bones. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. God, I'm going to miss the Pac-12. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Jesus oh. Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines <sighs> Shitty Situation brought to you by JP. JP came up with this his own self. A would you rather. Would you rather. Rape a school child on the school bus <laughs> to prove who's in authority. Or got to establish the alpha. <laughs> or would you rather be a serial pooper, but you only poop on your own porch? 
I'm and pooping you can't, on, and you can never clean it up. I'm pooping on my goddamn porch. And you dude. cannot clean it up. That's fine. I'm pooping okay. on my. I'm pooping on my porch. Mm-hmm. Me I'm too. Building a shit castle on my fucking porch. Me too. But yeah. I just wanted to say, hey, there's an option. Okay, there's but another option. You know what? I'm out. I'm all right. I am building a shit wall. Yeah, I'm uh, going with going to be a serial pooper. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. I never feel any urge to rape a kid. Right. I feel urges to shit a lot. Correct. There you go. <laughs> Pretty much daily. <laughs> And I like to think that a big pile of shit on my porch will only deter people from coming to my house, which is kind of what I wanted in the first place. Right. So, I mean, yeah. that may go against HOA regulations. I'll pay the fucking fine <laughs> rather than uh, yeah. ever be associated with anything as a school bus driver. And I know a lot of people were surprised that I <laughs> picked the pooper. Some, I know. Uh, what what if it's that's the bad part? It's not the rape and the kid. I don't want to be a school bus driver. Right, that is <laughs> the that. worst. That is the worst. <laughs> Fuck Fucking that. Fucking low lives. Oh my god. <laughs> they don't get paid near nothing. Enough. No, oh they sure don't. God damn it. What if it was? What if it was just a person on a public bus, a random person on a public bus? That'd be a little bit more acceptable. Then Isn't I would that do terrible? It. Then it's I would like, do the rape. No, don't rape the kid. Right. But a public person right. on a public bus. Right. That's, That's perfectly a lot acceptable. better. <laughs> like, well, yeah, at least that person was an adult. Right. Yeah. And they had probably had it coming. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, there's a good chance. Okay. You yeah. You, you're riding the bus for a reason. You didn't make good life choices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, probably work at Dairy oh, Queen. Mm-hmm. Oh, my Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our episode for this week. Oh. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> I, I really liked it. <laughs> I especially like the economic part of it. <laughs> Yes, we got him. We fucking got him. At least one time we got Jeremy to giggle. Just the idea that this was a good show. <laughs> that was a great show, man. Are you kidding me? People uh, are going to love it. Oh, God damn. We had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> You'll have to watch it back <laughs> yeah, and see what you think. Exactly. I won't, I won't do that, but uh, <laughs> thanks for the invitation anyway. Thank you very much to Mr. Jeremy Joseph, the myth, the legend. I'm not a myth, by the way. I am real. That's true. What about the legend? That's true. That's true. Okay, okay that's yeah. very fine. Mm-hmm. In many different areas, which is impressive. Which is impressive. You're actually. like a legend's legend. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and thanks again very much to Mr. JP. God damn it. You're ridiculous. Uh, but as I'm going to start doing that dance now. You should. You and should. my wife's going to wonder why I'm dancing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she'll, she'll dig it. Yeah. She'll just love that song and start decorating Christmas trees. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Keep doing what you're doing. We sincerely do appreciate it. Follow us on all of our platforms. If you have not already, please do us a favor. Like this video on YouTube. We sincerely do appreciate that. And if you really like it, leave a comment. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, I hope you only go golfing near Ford dealerships. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, get vertical with you. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.